right, so you've seen what the super hydrophobic camera cover can do. So in this video, I'm gonna try and keep it fairly short. We're gonna get it installed. Um, there are some key tips to making sure it's a successful installation. So please take the time and watch it. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop the, the trunk or the boot. There you go, there. and then we're gonna bring it back down. So um, you can see the, their model wise filthy at the moment, but I cleaned this area yesterday. So tip number one is your application area around this camera needs to be absolutely clean and bone dry. Um, so, you know, the weather's been pretty nice here. So cleaned it yesterday, it is clean and bone dry. Um, we do supply an alcohol wipe in the box. Let me just show you that real quick. In the box, said alcohol wipe, the camera cover itself. And then we also include a spare um, adhesive as well. So I'll do a separate video um, just showing how to use that. That'll be on the help page. First things first, in order to install this, I'm gonna have to remove our license plate frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And then we can move on to the second tip. Okay, so this bit is really important. So on our Model Y, we have this clear piece of film here. I don't know if it's all Model Ys or Model 3s, just Model Ys that come from Austin, like this one, um, but this will screw up your installation. So it serves no purpose, it just comes from the factory. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that first and you need to make sure you do that before you start your install. And then I'm gonna wipe it now with the alcohol wipe. And with the wipe, you just need to kind of get around the edge where it's actually gonna be sticking. And of course, give the, the lens a clean as well. This is a lens cleaner basically, so we we'll to make sure that's completely clean. And we're gonna let that dry completely or flash off. Okay, so um, while the alcohol flashes off or dries, um, just get your eye for where this is gonna go. The adhesive we use, it's a gel-based adhesive. It's completely watertight when applied correctly. Um, and there is a sort of texture on this um, plastic shroud around the, the uh, rear camera. So at a macro level, it's you know, quite a, a heavy texture, which we need to ac accommodate for. So the adhesive we use is a gel that will sort of meld into this or mold into it. So um, quick checklist, area clean and dry. We've cleaned it with alcohol. We've removed the clear plastic film that was just there. So now we're gonna go ahead and just gently remove this. Um, again, go slowly. We want to make sure the adhesive stays on the camera cover. Okay, and then just pull that front bit off. Okay, so hopefully you can see that's kind of a squishy gel based um, adhesive. And what we're gonna do is just place it very slowly. And we kind of just wanna tap it into place at first. So I'm just gonna gently touch it in. So what we can see here is this front edge is just slightly crooked. So I'm gonna just pop that off it back a bit okay so nice symmetry across this front edge um, you'll see that the lens is very slightly touching the clear film that's intentional so that's good um, and then obviously everything else is pretty well lined up once you're happy with it go ahead and apply some pressure for 30 seconds um, we'll obviously spin through this real quick okay so when you're applying the pressure obviously do it on this front edge but be sure to get the back as well um, that'll make sure it's nice and watertight. Now, ideally, you're not gonna drive your car now um, for 24 hours, um, especially don't drive it if you're going out in some sort of biblical weather, if it's rain, snow, sleep, whatever. Um, and then before you do drive your car next, just go ahead and make sure it's still adhered properly. Um, that's on there really quite firm, so it's obviously not going anywhere, um, but you wanna make sure um, you have the, the same situation. Okay, I'm going to put the license plate back on. Um, while we do that, if I can multitask, we'll talk about um, care for the camera cover. So um, I think I mentioned earlier, this is a fairly aggressive or abused area of the car. You know, the air whips over the back here, spins around here. That's why your rear camera's always got crap on it. Um, so rain, uh, sleet, uh, snow, particulates in the air especially, those are the things that contaminate the surface of um, anything that has a hydrophobic coating. So think about your ceramic coat on your car maybe, even PPF, you know, over time, the water stops beading up uh, and it stops becoming as effective. So there's a couple of things you can do to extend the life, or really just one thing, and that is to just keep it clean, 
Um, wipe it over with an alcohol wipe. So just like the one we used when we did the install. Um, just any kind of lens wipe or something like that. Um, obviously make sure there's no grit on the, the surface when you do, but um, if you do that, that'll extend the life. Now, in terms of the life, um, it depends on a few factors. Obviously, the weather you experience typically where you are, the air quality, um, and the miles you drive. So, yeah, we've not done many miles in this. I took uh, a camera cover off to do this install video. Um, it was still working absolutely 100% uh, effectiveness. Um, but over time, it'll become contaminated. The lens cleaner can only do so much. So you'll notice it when water starts to speed up um, or stops speeding up and um, being repelled or rejected by this, this coating. Um, and that's the time to replace it. So we believe that um, you'll definitely be good for a few months, no matter where you are. Um, if you have sort of fairly temperate weather, then you're probably good for six months. Um, but again, there's so many factors at play. It just depends. So, but you'll see it as soon, you know, when it starts to um, stop repelling the water so well, that's when it's time to replace it. So with that, um, safe driving and see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.